One True X Handheld Analyzer, two batteries for the instrument, one battery charger, one USB data cable, one adapter, one power cord, one piece of Sanyoliu standard sample, one piece of wrist strip, one box of mylar membrane. Product warranty card, user manual, and other accessories. The arbitration steps. We take out the instrument. Insert a battery at the bottom and snap the battery cover. Testing sample in four steps. The first step, turn on the instrument. Press the power switch for three seconds to turn on the machine. The indicator light will be green at this time. The instrument is turned on waiting for the software data to load. After the loading is complete, it will enter the radiation warning interface. At this time, click the OK to enter the login interface. The default password is E234. After entering the correct password, the test menu will appear. Step to self-test. Please click the check option into self-test interface. Before starting self-test, Please align the detection window with the standard calibration sample. Then click OK to start self-test and wait for a while. The instrument will display self-test successful. When self-test is finished, the high voltage radiation signal lights will be off. Step 3 Testing Sample Cover the sample in front of test window and enter the test interface. At this time, click the camera button to see the real-time picture of the sample, which can help the small size sample align with the test window. Then push the trigger to keep this state until the test is over. During the test, the radiation lights flash, and the content keratin value of each element in the sample will be automatically displayed on the screen. Step 4. Complete the test. After the test, the instrument will automatically save the test data according to the data sequence number. Step 5. Print the testing report. Return to the data interface, click on the historical data, and classify the measured data by year and month. If you need to export, you can choose the data format you need to export. Connect the USB data cable to the PC to transfer data, or connect the printer to print out directly. Let's learn about its other software functions. Test condition, used to set test time and repeatable multi-point average test. Tag input. When testing multiple samples, the samples can be marked by modifying the test label to avoid confusion of results. Custom display. Set the display information of the test interface, including specifying the display order of elements opening or closing. After understanding the above software functions, our sharing today will be over. Finally, we turn off the instrument. In the setting interface, click return button, and the dialog box will pop up. Just click the OK button. After exiting and turning off the instrument, you need to take out the battery and put it in the suitcase for safekeeping.